Monday, a Tuesday. Happy Wednesday, happy Thursday, happy Friday. Good morning, besties. It is Monday. Excuse all the background mess. It is only Monday. But I wanted to kick off this video right away because I am currently doing my skincare and my makeup and I am listening to an audiobook, so that counts as reading. I feel like throughout the days, I really love listening to audiobooks because I can multitask, I can do things and have it in the background, have it in my ear, rather than having to find a place to sit down to read like an open book, which I still love to do and I probably will do later in the night when I'm not working. But for now, I'm listening to With or Without You by Eric Smith. This is a power Palestinian author and I've been loving this book so much. I am almost done with it. I only have two hours left to go but I'm listening to it on like 1.5. So I'm 78% of the way through and it is very very exciting. It's a YA romance. There's a love triangle, there's food trucks and reality TV shows and it's just very like entertaining to listen to. There's Cindy and there's Jordan and their family businesses are food truck rivals and they're both entering this contest to build a really good meal to win ten thousand dollars to fund their dreams and there's this really public banter and intense feud between the two families because they're so near to each other they always talk smack about each other when they're both at the food truck like screaming back and forth but that is all for shows that is all for the audience really because cindy and jordan are dating which is so stinking cute because you have to go out and banter for the crowd but like deep down you guys love each other i feel like there's a lot of conversations that high school me would have thoroughly enjoyed especially like the i don't know if i want to go to college just quite yet is this really all my dreams is like i don't even know what i'm doing so it's really relatable on that aspect and i am really digging this so i'm gonna click play and then do my makeup hey guys i just finished the book and it's only 11 32 so i finished it pretty quickly and i was just multitasking i've been working on my computer and having it play in the background while focusing on both at the same time that is the beauty of audiobooks i am going back and forth about this like i am thinking about it really hard and what i want to rate it and i think i'm landing somewhere between a 3.5 and a 4 so i think i will just round up and give it a 4. it was very good and i did enjoy myself i had a great time i do feel that there are some points or a lot of points where i was just like i don't think i relate to the main character or i don't quite understand why the character did what they did and i don't know maybe it's because i'm not a teenager anymore and i just can't relate there was like a disconnect between me and the book and like the storytelling so i feel like that's why it's not at its five points or five stars yet but i thought it was very entertaining through and through the drama between the two characters and the reality tv show was very like entertaining to read it was good the ending was kind of like bittersweet it's definitely happy bittersweet like you do get a happily ever after but it's not like it's like a realistic happily ever after you know like yeah they got together and all is well but it wasn't like they got everything they wanted and it's like fiction this was more contemporary but other than that still a great time we are moving on to a new book i am debating right now i do oh i could read funny story by emily henry i have early access to the audiobook i just realized should we do that? Should we do that? Okay, let's do it. Once it fully downloads, which will probably take like a minute, I will be reading Emily Henry's new book. Even though I have never read Happy Place, I read all of her other like adult romances. So I'm excited for this one. Hey besties, it's a little bit later. I did eat lunch, even though it looks like I've been in the same place since the last update. Funny Story by Emily Henry is officially downloaded, so let's listen to it. I'm working from home, so I'm gonna listen to it and work at the same time. Here we go. Funny Story by Emily Henry. I am 24 minutes in, and I am genuinely so shocked of this main character's beginning plot. Like, truly a villain arc. In my opinion, I would literally become the villain in everyone's story if this situation happened to me. Holy moly, what? The way I would be miserable and make everyone else around me miserable and constantly seek revenge throughout my whole entire life if this is how the story starts. Like, I genuinely want to give the main character a hug, but also, like, Google revenge plots with her because what the heck? The story starts off that she's living with this guy and she, like, doesn't really like him he's not a really good roommate he's dirty he smokes and she's living there temporarily because her fiance went on a bachelor trip and then fell in love or confessed his their whatever it is to his long-term girl best friend 
like childhood girl best friend and so she comes back and he told her like he's like hey i'm in love with her and like we're not doing this wedding and like and so she gets kicked out of their apartment because his name is on it and she has to move in with this guy named peter and peter was the girl best friend's boyfriend do you catch my drift it's like a square that is so fucked <laughs> That is so messed up. I'm laying in bed. I'm taking a little break because I'm so tired of staring at my computer screen. But I'm gonna take a break by reading Collide. I was reading this last night. I am on page 312, so I'm practically near the end, like they're together. I don't sense a third act breakup because how long it took for them to get together. They just recently got together on like page 300, so I don't predict it. <laughs> but I'm gonna read this just because it's so comforting, like it's so lighthearted and cute and romantic and sweet and it's a hockey romance, so I'm gonna read this so I can ease my mind a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's so flat because I use it as a pillow. Maybe I'll lay on it this way. <laughs> it looks so funny. Hey guys it's still monday i feel like this has been almost like a vlog in itself but i'm trying to film a reading week i think it's just been like a big reading day for me and some days are like that but throughout the week my reading schedule changes a lot basically it wraps around with life not every day is a heavy reading day but i did want to show you guys this i got this package in the mail and i was like okay i know why you're really here oh it's more than just a book. Terrence Fisher's new book, Good Half Gone, and this is a thriller. I've definitely seen this author's work before, and now that I'm looking at the back, she has a book with Colleen Hoover. Thank you so much to these publishers, and thank you so much to the author for sending me this book. I'm so excited to read it. Hey, bestie booze. <laughs> It is Tuesday. It's actually like 8 p.m. Yeah, 8.02 p.m. I did not vlog all day, but I was reading throughout the day. I had a really bad day. <laughs> I, it was, today was really rough. I had like a menti B. I just was so low energy, but I am currently in bed reading Collide. I will probably finish this tonight seeing that I have 30 more pages to go and I'm really enjoying it. I think it's really cute. I think it's so wholesome. I mean, it is spicy in some scenes, but I think their love overall, very very wholesome and the way they are so vulnerable with each other that is like whoa like to me i couldn't imagine sharing my deepest darkest like things that i hold to myself with someone else and let someone else hold it so the way they do that with each other is actually kind of like wow maybe love is real maybe love does exist out there and i just haven't had my taste of it yet but other than that i've also been listening to a funny story by emily henry i am currently it doesn't tell you the percentage but i am three hours and 11 minutes into the book so i would say maybe like a little bit over one fourth what would you guys count that as one third or one fourth i've been enjoying this i really really love the female main character i think she is doing her best and i love when books talk about like when it feels realistic when it comes to like career and finance because i feel like a lot of times out there when i read romance books it's like billionaire trope and then the girl like the guy takes care of the girl and she's like a billionaire just because they are together and that's fine like that is an incredible world like looking for a billionaire myself but i feel like this one leans more towards like women fiction contemporary so it's a bit more realistic and it talks about like money is hard and she has to live with this guy because they're splitting rent it's cheaper and she's just trying to get by yeah money is not like she's a billionaire but she's happy with the things that she's doing for work and i really like that i feel like there's so much pressure i just is there a pimple i felt like i just rubbed something anyways my skin is really freaking out so i just felt ugly today too but now that i showered their pimples are still there so i guess i still feel bad but no more negative self-talk anyways and i'm starting to see the spark between this like roommate of hers i i get it like they do have really good conversations and like the dialogue is really funny so i'm excited to see how this kind of unfolds because there is like a slight fake dating aspect but i can't tell right now if it's like a joke or for real like are they actually going to start fake dating in front of everyone or if it was just like oh yeah we're we're dating to get back at our exes but so so far i'm loving both of the books i'm reading and i will probably finish this tonight happy wednesday bestie it's another reading update last night i finished collide and that was very good it was very entertaining and i think it's just like a really sweet hockey romance it's super romantic definitely no third act breakup it was just very smooth sailing through and through it was just enjoyable to read because both of the characters are so mature they communicate so well 
and it's very realistic like i feel like oh these kids are very like in college and everything just makes sense i am confused about the age a little bit because one of the characters said that the female main character summer finished her degree in two years and i remember back at like one of the bar scenes she had a fake id oh she's like 20 then because you finished high school you're 18 and then two years later you're 20 and he's a senior so he's like 21 22 but she is 20 going into a grad program because she's just so smart i like kind of like connected the dots and i felt like maybe that was a little bit late in the game because definitely should have made that connection earlier but it was really good i think i'm gonna end up giving it a four stars i do feel that there were some points i just wanted like a little bit more like more excitement but overall it's still very good four stars is still amazing and then last night i was still in a reading mood so i went on my kindle Ooh. i went on my kindle to find something else to read and i ended up picking back up Cinderella's faking it. I started this like a few months ago and I kind of put a pause on it because I just ended up reading other things and never picking it back up. I think it's still a really good book. It's definitely like high drama. I'm only in the early stages and it's interesting. I'm still thinking about like how the hidden identity will come into play or how it will reveal itself because it's about a school teacher pretending to be this rich heiress socialite very like billionaire trillionaire who owns hotels and is like a legacy that person does exist but they have anxiety and so the school teacher is pretending to be her in public because they look similar enough and this billionaire who owns another hotel chain wants to marry her so they can merge businesses i'm just like kind of thinking like how it's all going to go down because if they start getting intimate or like romantic it's kind of like well he doesn't really know the real you but that is my little update for now i've been listening to funny story this is my progress mark i'm a little bit over 50 percent in and it's very interesting i love the build-up between miles and daphne the two main characters and like who were roommates i think they connect really well they have a lot in common despite being so different like when they talk you're kind of like oh my gosh are you guys like the same person they have the same sense of humor the same wittiness and charisma i'm probably going to continue listening to funny story throughout the day and hopefully i can finish it today if i do i finished like three books this week and that is a lot every week is different and you just caught me on a good week i'm so tired i'm like fighting a nap so i'm gonna do my little walk for an hour and i'll probably listen to the audiobook within that hour so hopefully i'll be done with it but i am so very tired i am ready for the night my skin is still freaking out i don't know what's going on let's do a reading update i feel like on monday when i started this vlog i updated you guys so much throughout the day but as the week went on i started updating like once kind of like at the end of the day or beginning of the day to do a wrap up and i don't like that i want to be more interactive i just want to talk with you guys a little bit more give you like real-time updates rather than like a wrap up because I feel like that kind of defeats defeats that defeats the point of this video because I might as well just film like a video on Friday saying like this is everything I read but let's try to sum it up I took a little hot girl walk and I listened to my audiobook I wanted to finish it because I like to walk for like an hour and I have about three hours left and I listened to it at 1.5 speed so I would be almost done <laughs> and so I thought I could finish it up today but during my walk I decided to listen to music after listening to the audiobook for a bit i just kind of wanted to switch over i'm not really like bored but i do feel that i'm not really connecting to the story anymore like i still think it's good i still think it's like fun to listen to i think the female character and the male character have aspects in their personality and their lives that are really relatable to me but i'm slowly finding myself kind of disengaged from it which is weird because usually i feel like a story like this is something that's totally up my alley like i love seeing myself reflected in the stories i read and just enjoying the characters but i don't know why i'm kind of like it's just playing and i'm just listening to it but i'm not like one with the book i'm not really connecting so that's where i'm at with the audiobook but since i only have three hours left i probably will just try to finish it up so hopefully i can finish that tomorrow i tried to read a little bit more of cinderella's faking it but i think because i left off at like 30 percent and i tried to pick it back up yesterday like last night and this morning i am very confused i am so lost I got to the point where Beck, who is the male main character, 
his mom is in jail and like i just don't know why she's in jail like why is she in prison what is going on and like why is his brother so weird why is his brother so weird i remember when i was reading it before i always thought his brother was weird julian so like why is he still weird but currently i'm at my desk i'm uploading a youtube video and as i'm waiting for it to upload because i have to guard it if i don't watch it it will literally just pause right there and not move so i have to like look at it <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's just my system. I'm going to read Trust Me by Carly Jean. This is a hockey romance. I think I already talked about this. I'm gonna start this while I watch this. Also, did I tell you guys this book is signed to me? She made it out to me. Hey guys, happy Thursday. I actually wore makeup today, so I might look a little different than these past few days, but it's still me. I woke up early this morning and I started reading right away when I got ready to work. So it's been about like two hours of listening and I am almost done with it. And I'm honestly liking it a lot now. I feel like this development into like what they actually are. And I feel like Emily Henry does a good job of this, but we get like super close to the characters throughout the book and they're super relatable and the ending it's like you know what i will call you when it's on my own time kind of things like that and i feel like i passed that and it's just like ugh, good for you you grew a backbone you stood up for yourself you almost feel like really happy for them but then you also see yourself in those characters so after that i was like okay this is really really good and i'm really intrigued and i just think miles and daphne make so much sense as a character together why is my voice changing i think they make so much sense as a couple like they truly are so similar despite being so different it's only thursday and i've read three books which is <laughs> <laughs> hey guys happy friday it is the last day of the week and i'm so grateful for that i feel like this week was so hard and i don't even know why because now that it's friday i'm like what did i even do this week what was so frustrating to me that i had a terrible week and then the sun is out and i'm like suddenly i'm not sad anymore but it is friday i have not done any reading today and it's already 4 p.m and to be honest i don't really read on fridays especially when it's this sunny out you will probably not catch me indoors but let's wrap up on everything that i read this week and go through like a quick summary i think let's start with the three books i did finish because that is wild three books for one week is pretty good for me first off on monday we finished with or without you by eric smith i ended up giving it like a 3.5 like it was good it probably won't be something that i'm going to think about constantly and then we finished collide which is a hockey romance i ended up giving this one a four stars if you liked icebreaker by hannah grace this is such a similar feeling it's very lighthearted, very fun but there are some heavy topics such as like family dynamics that might be a little bit harder to read to and then we finished funny story by emily henry i ended up giving this one like a four 4.5 and then i just rounded up to five because it was really good it was just like tried and true emily henry book it is so emotional so relatable but so romantic all at the same time reading wise i've been dabbling here and there we read a little bit of cinderella's faking it and then i stopped i picked up Keep Her Safe by QB Tyler. I read like a page. I started Trust Me by Carly Jean. I only got like three pages. Oh no, I actually got through the whole prologue. I feel like I did a lot of reading this week, but moving on to next week, I don't know what it is that I want to read. So I just have like a bunch of books started. Let me know what I should read next. Comment down below because I've been reading a lot. So I kind of finished my TBR. So I want to take recommendations from you besties. But thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I hope you have an amazing day, amazing night, amazing morning, amazing week, weekend, whatever it is, wherever you are. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.